improved methods for cDNA cloning. Although different methods are available for the cloning of cDNA that were proposed by different workers at different time, times and here we will focus only a few outlines. So the hairpin method that we discussed uh, in the last topic, it has certain disadvantage. The reason is that when hairpin loop structure it is formed and finally when it is degraded or removed by S1 nucleus, then some portion of the DNA at phi prime end it is also degraded. So because of this reason, uh, this method uh, has been uh, superseded by other techniques and uh, uh, where we can direct the synthesis of second strand in a separate reaction. It will be cleared by this diagram. So in this diagram, that showed the improved method for cDNA cloning and uh, it was uh, developed by Land and co-workers in 1981, whereas the Maniatus method was uh, in mid-1970s and it is an improvement over that uh, traditional hairpin loop method. So here, messenger RNA, usually it contain adenine residue stretch at 3 prime end, then it can be subjected to enzyme reverse transcriptase and 4 DNTPs, so that first DNA strand it is being synthesized here. So this is the messenger RNA that act as a template for the synthesis of the first strand of the cDNA. Then in the next step, this cDNA, it is subjected to terminal transferase in the presence of cytosine residues. Now it will add cytosine residues at 3 prime end of the cDNA. Now these two strands, they are treated with alkaline sucrose gradient and it will result in the hydrolysis of the RNA and it will also recover the full length cDNA. So alkali will remove the messenger RNA. Now we have a separate strand of cDNA. Now it will be used in a separate reaction to direct the synthesis of the second strand. So onward, when first strand it is being synthesized, then it is provided with guanine residues and it will result in the second strand biosynthesis. So after the synthesis of duplex cDNA, now it is ready to insert into a suitable vector by homopolymeric tailing. Sometimes it is advantageous if the insertion of the cDNA it is correctly, so orientation if it is correct. So for this purpose, uh, another type of strategies have been developed that are based on hairpin method. So traditional hairpin method have also been used to insert the cDNA in correct orientation. So for this purpose, uh, synthetic linkers have also been used with cDNA. For example, this diagram, it is another method for directional cDNA cloning. So like the usual hairpin method, again the messenger RNA, it contain polyadenylated residues at 3 prime end and thymine primer, it is used as we discussed number of time to direct the synthesis of the first strand of cDNA. After that, DNA polymerase glano fragment it is used and uh, if you remember this DNA polymerase, it lack 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity. So again this hairpin like structure it is used to direct the synthesis of second DNA strand. Then second strand biosynthesis it is followed and here it is an improvement that linker molecules they are ligated and this linker molecules it contain restriction site for Sol1 enzyme. So linker molecules are added at right side and that contain the Sol1 restriction site. And then the left side are 5 prime and they are digested with S1 nuclease 
and then again provided with DNA polymerase clano fragment in the presence of all four DNTPs and we have a duplex cDNA that contain linkers with restriction site for Sol1 enzyme. After that, this duplex cDNA it is again provided with or ligated with a linkers that contain EcoR1 site. So on the left side are five prime and linker molecules they are added either on the right side or the left side and then they are cut with Sol1 and EcoR1 so that we can produce sticky end at left and right side. So at right side we have sticky end for Sol1 and on left side we have site for EcoR1 and then it is inserted into a vector that is being uh, fragmented with Sol1 and EcoR1 so ligation it is there and after ligation it is used to transform suitable host organism. This is another method for directional cDNA cloning and here we can have some variations like usually again Singer RNA with 3' polyadenylated and it is used and here the primer that is based on a stretch of thymine it contain a stretch of another nucleotide basis that contain restriction site for Sol1. So in addition to thymine residue it also contains sites that contain Sol1 restriction enzyme sites and then it is subjected to reverse transcriptase in the presence of four DNTPs so first strand biosynthesis it is there. Now in addition to thymine primer, no some stretches of DNA or nucleotide bases are also there that contain restriction site for Sol1 enzyme. Then first strand it is subjected to DNA polymerase clano fragment that lack 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity in the presence of four DNTPs to direct the synthesis of second strand. No second strand it is being synthesized. No. Now on the right side it contain linkers molecule that contain uh, Sol1 restriction target site and then it is uh, provided with EcoR1 linkers here. So on the left side linker molecules for EcoR1 they are added and then they are again cut with Sol1 or EcoR1 restriction enzymes and now they are ready to insert into a suitable vector that is ready for transformation. So these are a few improved strategies for cloning cDNA into a suitable cloning vector. So number of other strategies are also there but we have just focused on a few strategies here.